Brought to you by Fast Pitch TV and sponsored by SoftballJunk.com. Here's another show from the 2016 Women's College World Series. At this time, we have University of Michigan head coach, Coach Hutchins, student athlete, Sierra Romero, student athlete, Megan Betza, and student athlete, Kelsey, Kelsey Susala. Uh, coach, general comments about the game, then open up for questions. Well, congrats. You have to congratulate. What a great effort. Florida State and Jess Bur- Jessica Burroughs was just outstanding. Outstanding effort. And, uh, you know, they got it done, and they shut down a very good Michigan team, a very good hitting team. And um, as I've said all week, Megan Betta gave us a chance to win. She gave us every chance to win and did her part, and, uh, you know, we just didn't find a way to get it done. And I've got a lot of heartbroken kids. <coughs> fantastic senior class that has to say goodbye. And I told them just to reflect on their careers and what they've meant to Michigan and what Michigan has meant to them. And we'll hold our head high at the end of the day because they represent this institution and the sport of softball. They represent their families every day the way our institution asked them to do it. They're great Michigan women. And as a coach, ultimately that's what I'm most proud of. I'll always be proud of Team 39. They've had a great season. We had a great run. And unfortunately, we just ran out at the end. All right, we're going to open up for questions. Uh, Coach, a one-hitter from your pitcher, really. What more can you ask uh, in a game like this in such a huge stage? You can't ask anymore. She couldn't have done anything else. She pitched her <coughs> she pitched her guts out. She pitched her heart out. And um, she did everything she could for her teammates. For Sierra and Kelsey, um, what what was Burroughs doing that was just so effective from beginning to end today? Sierra. She was just being the good pitcher that she is. She was spinning the ball, um, and uh, she was hitting her spots, so she did a good job. Yeah, just mixing it around in the in the strike zone, and we chased a couple pitches, but um, I think overall we were just trying to get our cuts in and just put the ball in play, but it didn't really work out for us. So. Kelsey and, and Sierra, I, I know it's hard. It's this, this soon after your, your last game, but Coach talked about reflecting on what you've done here. C- can you can you both reflect on what you did here at Michigan and also particularly this year? Kelsey. Um, I mean, my time here has been awesome. Uh, this last year with 20 other girls, it's just amazing. And um, we didn't get the outcome that we wanted, but I wouldn't have traded these last three days for anything. I just any extra day that I can be with my teammates is an awesome experience for me. So um, I thank Hodge for giving me this opportunity, and uh, it's been awesome. Sarah. Um, I mean, ever since I stepped foot on campus, uh, Michigan has done nothing but great things for me. And um, I've just tried my best to represent Michigan the best way I know how. And playing for Hodge and Team 39 this year has been amazing. and. Um, there's no other place I'd rather be, no other uniform I'd rather wear. Um, and I love Michigan. Megan, can you describe what happened on, on the Florida State scoring play? Um, it was supposed to be a change up in the dirt, and it was just a little too much in the dirt, and it got past Aiden, and the run scored. But I gave up too many free bases in that inning, and it hurt me. Megan, can you actually just kind of walk us through today in terms of coming back from last night? And it seemed like you really settled down, obviously, after after those early innings and kind of got into a groove. Just what the just the entire day, uh, just how how'd you kind of manage through all this? Um, I just had to fight, and I was focused on giving everything I had and working through whatever I needed to work through. And I knew that if this was going to be it, that I was going to go out and give everything that I had for my teammates and the senior class. I have two. For the players, how difficult was the – it was like a 12-hour turnaround from last night to today's game. Sierra. We're college students. We stay up that late sometimes. We're fine. Um, you know, it's softball. We've conditioned all year for this and, um, you know, just didn't fall our way. Megan. I mean, just, just what Romo said, we got back as soon as we could and went, went to sleep and iced and had a good breakfast and we were ready to come play. But, you know, we just didn't do what we really needed to do. Kelsey. I agree with what they said. I mean, it does it. It doesn't matter what the turnaround was, but um, we just didn't get the outcome that we wanted today. 
for Hutch, can you talk about your strategy in, in that last inning? It was Did you want Monty to bunt? You wanted Monty to bunt there? I wanted her to bunt it to the right side, and uh, we didn't get it done. I'm sure Burl spun that pitch, and we needed to get the tying run to second base and give us a chance to win. And, you know, they played deep. They'd been bunted on the whole tournament, and it, it just we didn't get it done. Uh, Coach, your senior class won over 200 games in Ann Arbor. Um, can you just talk about you know the impact they had off the field during their time in Ann Arbor? You know, we um, set really high expectations for our student athletes. And if you're going to wear the Block M, you're going to wear it right. You're going to learn the minute you walk in the door that this isn't about you. This is about Michigan. And your job, your duty, and the reason we bring you to Michigan and give you this, the opportunity of your lifetime is to help make Michigan great. And our kids embrace that, and they epitomize it. And the senior class has done nothing but both of those things. They have done nothing but represent Michigan. I'm very, very proud of that. Hutch, from, uh, I guess now these last three days, is there anything that you kind of take away of, uh, I guess, what went right or what went wrong on these three games in, in three days and that you can kind of encapsulate? You know, I say it all the time. I've been coaching longer than most people have been alive. And it's really hard to get to the World Series. And it's really hard to win at the World Series. And honestly, I'm just proud of our kids for the season they've had. It doesn't always go your way. That's how life goes. It's not what it's not whether it goes right or wrong, it's just whether you persevere through it and if this is the biggest adversity they ever have, you know they've had a heck of a great life. All right. Are there any other questions? If not, oh, Nancy, I'm sorry. sorry. But you talked uh, last week about how this <clears throat> team carried expectations all season from, from last year's World Series performance. In the end, how do you how do you think this team handled that this whole season and, and even in this postseason? This has been a this is a tough group. You know, we, we made them tough by what we do every day, and regardless of the final outcome here, they tough through all those things. And it's not when you're winning 12 to nothing when you have to be tough. It's when and we got through that regional, we got through that super regional, and we got here. And we won a tough game the first night, and, you know, we were close to winning it last night without our best performance. This is a really tough group. All right. If there are no further questions, coaches, student athletes, thank you. Thank you. Do you need a softball bat? Do you want to save $30? Softballjunk.com is offering an additional $30 discount off the price of all non-sale softball bats on their website. That's right, $30. So the next time you buy a bat, go to softballjunk.com and enter the code FPTV30 during checkout. And wham, you just put a cool $30 in your pocket. This show is a member of the Fast Pitch TV Network. See all of our shows and blogs at www.fastpitch.tv.